This past week, Americans made their first tentative steps from beneath the shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic, only to be confronted by a much older toxic threat to life in this country, racial injustice. This time, it began with the death of George Floyd while in the custody of Minneapolis police officers. The image of a man begging for breath as an officer presses a knee to his neck and the life out of him is indelible. As the week continued, the rage sparked by Monday's death on a Minnesota street ignited protests and, in some cases, violence in cities across the country. This virus of racism and injustice has threatened and infected America for 400 years. There is no antidote, but we desperately need to heal from it.